We welcome you to this week's edition of the Dan Bilesma Show, presented by Pizza Hut. I'm Steve Mears, joined by the head coach of the Pittsburgh Penguins, Dan Bilesma. We're here on the ice at Mellon Arena. Dan, how are you today? I'm doing great. Good to have you as always. And coming up, we've got some footage of the kids' open practice, which was held here at Mellon Arena. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we have Ask Dan Anything, a lot more coming up here on this edition. Well, first of all, I want to start with one thing before we get into our usual details. I'm watching the game day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, on Long Island. And if you remember last week or last time on the show, we had the pass off the pads, creating a rebound and burying it. They're a scoring chance off of the goalie's pads. I'm watching that game against the Islanders. Matt Cook scores off the goalie's pad and right there in my living room, POP, right away. So you got me thinking like a coach. Good job. There you it's go. Working. That's what, it, that's what uh, hopefully the thoughts are going through our players' head. Um, that was a game we weren't getting a lot of offense. It's tough to score. They were playing a good game, uh, the Islanders. Uh, Jordan Stahl comes down the wing, doesn't have a real good shot opportunity, and doesn't have a pass opportunity. Just puts it on the pads. It was about a half-speed shot right on the pads, bounces right out to Matt Cook, and uh, he buried it home. And the great thing about uh, that moment for us, it's a great move by Jordan, a good goal uh, for Cookie. But the whole bench pops up and says, P.O.P., P.O.P. <laughs> so you know, you're, uh, you know you got it in their brains when you see it. The guys are excited on the bench. That's what I was doing in my living room as I was watching that game. And hopefully you were, too, if you saw that last edition with Dan demonstrating on the ice. All right, well, let's look back on November a little bit. Big story, of course, injuries with your team. How were you able to stay afloat despite just about every guy going down with an injury? Yeah, I think we totaled eight guys that were uh, on our opening day roster that we're out at one point with an injury. But I, I think, uh, you know, we talk about how we want to play as a team. We expect to play a certain way. We want to have an identity about how we play and how we execute. And regardless of whether who's in the lineup, who's out of the lineup, what injuries we have, the people coming in know how, what that game plan is, know how we need to execute. And I think you saw that with our guys coming up from Wilkes-Barre, Derek England, Ben Lovejoy, did an outstanding job, not only of uh, showing that they could play at this level, but executing within our system, going north, putting pressure on other teams D, and almost a seamless transition for some guys that haven't played very many NHL games. And that's a credit to what they're doing down there in Wilkes-Barre. It's a credit to the guys coming up, but also in our organization, that's our identity. This is how we play, and no matter who's in or out, that's what we uh, should be seeing on the ice. Well, you've talked a lot about the similarity in styles, that symmetry between the NHL and the AHL teams. Can you elaborate on that? What does that mean? What are they doing that's so similar that helps a player come up to the NHL level so easily? Yeah, one of the things that's difficult about your call of getting your first game and, and trying to show what you can do is you need to adjust to teammates, you need to adjust to coach, you need to adjust to the system and the nuances of it. The, the practices are much different, the drills could be different, but with the way we have things set up here in Pittsburgh and in Wilkes-Barre, uh, the players in Wilkes-Barre know the, the exact drills that we're doing here. They're identical, they're called the same thing, the, we're trying to achieve the same thing in practice in the game, we use the same words. And so when they come up, they should be perfectly comfortable with what they should do, how it should be done, and they can just go about playing their game. Well, today was a special day here at Mellon Arena as Allegheny County students in grades 1 through 8 were invited to come to a Penguins practice. Just an unbelievable atmosphere. What did you think as you were on the ice going through your daily routine here with the players? What was it like to have thousands of kids in the stands? It's an amazing amount of noise, a totally different noise than you get from a, a building full of, of regular fans. The kids got loud voices, shrill, shrieking voices, and so when the player comes out, one of their favorites, of Kenny Malkin, Flurry, or Crosby, it's a, it's a huge scream. Uh, and then in practice, there's a dull roar going the whole time with the guys, the kids in the stands. They're screaming, they're talking. It's a, it almost intimidating the amount of noise that's going through the building with those kids here. And you also wanted to tie in some messages too for them about uh, working hard in school, right? Well, we talked to our players and, and want to establish good habits, work ethic, building those through practice, doing those things right, doing them day after day, and practicing and bringing that to a game. And a lot of those things apply to school, the work ethic, building of the habits, um, listening to your teacher. I know we talked to Billy Guerin today about uh, <laughs> him listening to his teacher today. He may have failed at that, but all those things apply to school, and it's one of the things the, the kids get about coming here. They get the fun of our practice, but hopefully some of those lessons that our teachers are teaching them, they see in us, and they can take them back with them and apply them to uh, their life, their school. What were some of the players saying? They were out here, and they have all these kids screaming. What were their reactions? I, again, I think it's a little intimidating. You don't know if they're screaming at you, uh, <laughs> the, the guy next to you, but uh, it's always fun to add excitement to the building and, and a, a good day for everybody. Coming up next, a lot of footage of the Penn's open practice here at Mellon Arena. It's all straight ahead on the Dan Bilesma Show, presented by Pizza Hut. <laughs> 